Zu Schulterverletzungen kommt es häufig. A fall can often cause shoulder injuries, such as bruising. But the strain caused by constantly reaching upwards when climbing can also result in muscle pulls and tears. This mainly affects older climbers who already have wear and tear on this joint. In the case of injuries caused by falling, particularly high impact falls where the shoulder hits the rock hard, a fracture may result. Losing your footing while keeping your handhold can cause dislocation of the shoulder. Typical causes of a shoulder injury are a fall involving impact, lasting and worsening pain while climbing, or problems with circulation, motor functions or sensory functions. This means that movement is restricted or there are problems with feeling. Rather than make a diagnosis, the task of the first responder is to help relieve the symptoms or to stabilize the person and make them comfortable. I think the shoulder is a really good example because without an x-ray, it's incredibly difficult even for professionals to tell the difference between a shoulder dislocation, a collarbone fracture, and an upper arm fracture. Each of these types of injuries requires a different treatment, so clearly the first responder should make no attempt to manipulate the joint. An exception can be made with individuals who frequently dislocate their shoulder and who know exactly how to reset it with a little assistance. In this case, you can help. The important thing is to make only one attempt. If this proves unsuccessful, you should make an emergency call. A shoulder injury usually means the tour is over. The shoulder should be stabilized so that the victim can descend in as little pain as possible. In an emergency, you may also need to alert rescue services. But whatever the circumstances, a doctor should be consulted once you are home in order to assess the need for further treatment.